day two of the trip to Toronto. We got to Zagreb last night after having had a sort of like a romantic Valentine's Day um, in Zagreb itself. The hotel near the airport, the Hotel Peso, really, really nice, gave us a nice breakfast bag because we had to leave before breakfast today. So now it's uh, at the airport, first leg to Amsterdam, then a three hour layover, and then we'll be um, off to Toronto. I got a job. I got a job. <laughs> Oh no, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Just follow me Leaning on a photograph And our memories, they come alive Lay me down, you slip around Free flight from Zagreb to Amsterdam, the airport, Amsterdam. So we've changed terminals. Well, from D until E, we've got I don't know, hour and a half, two hours before we board. It's a 747 flight. Uh, one thing I like about Amsterdam Airport is the fact that it's got all these places where you can charge um, all your tech. It's amazing. But our gate E17, nothing no charging ports and pretty basic. Actually, it looks like it was the original terminal here in Schiphol. Cam's just gone off to get uh, a cup of coffee. Passengers and a nibble. Myers and Lima, traveling to London it's blue and white everywhere here. Well, it's the KLM hub. And somebody is delaying a flight and they're gonna have their bag taken off. That is not gonna be us. in uh, a Toby cook you look tired oh I am tired and cold we, we are dead like that it's chilly but it's not too bad for Canada this is mild this is the road where we're staying remember I used to live in winter tag and You're... for winter for winter tag this is summer <laughs> are you glad to be back being a, a true-blown Canadian yeah I can't wait to explore you just went out of focus there but never mind okay I'm ready to explore you have to be the jet lag, but by staying awake and adjusting to Canada time right away. Well, we're going to go and find some Thai food, some Thai food, and an ATM, and I've got to make sure that I don't slip on the ice. But we made it, and I'm so happy. And the flight wasn't all that bad. Uh, we watched a movie. I only had two beers. And Rob, a really, really nice guy, was waiting for us. Yes, he picked us up. And the lineup wasn't bad either, was it? No, but... Because you were scared. 
No, because I, I don't like, like the, when you travel to big cities, like this is the main hub for the rest of the Canada to travel. That, that's where you get all the people and it was so busy, but we went through pretty quickly. I think in England, when I went to London, it took me longer too. Tired. Tired. Very tired. <laughs> Just went to um, the Albatross pub. Albatross, yes, owned by a Polish. It's full Polish of people. full of Polish people, and I had liver and onions because it was po Polish Wednesday. Yes, and I had the chicken Caesar salad. We are so jammed now from the jet lag. <laughs> and I have to stay up for another hour and a half. Uh, we need to stay awake for two more hours, but we are so tired because we want to adapt as soon as possible. Yeah. So, and um, yes, my eyes hurt so much. I don't know if you see how red they are. Yeah, she's got red eyes. I can't even see, I couldn't see anything today, even the signs, how tired I was. So, we've arrived in Canada. As you know, yes. we're in a Toby, a Toby Cook, a Toby Cook, or a Toby Cook, whatever. Anyway, so tomorrow we might do, um, you said you'll do a, a studio tour. Yes, tomorrow studio tour and we're going to downtown Toronto. With but a bit we're going to sleep in, we're going to sleep in. We're going to keep for two more hours so we can be this, this, this jet like because we are so, our bodies are so used to now in Bosnia, it's I don't know, middle of the night. Mm. So we need to beat this up as soon as possible so we can function properly. Because we're not staying here for too long. So we're going back home on the 5th. <laughs> okay, so we'll see you tomorrow from Etobicoke in Ontario on the shores of Lake Ontario. Bye. Bye.